Hey guys, Kristen Hankins here with Usborne Books and More. I'm going to show you some of our newest baby books. I get so excited with every new catalog release because I often have a new baby to go with it too. And I'm like, yay, I get to use these books again. So I was excited to see new cloth books. Um, they come in these cute little packages, so it'll be an adorable gift. But here they are, they're black and white. I love the abstract coloring and they stand um, and they crinkle. They're just so cute. I actually had my six month old doing tummy time when I took these out of the box. I opened up our box, I immediately set one on the floor in front of her and she grabbed it and she flipped over and she just started playing with it right over her head and then she rolled over onto her tummy and was making it crinkle and stuff and she loved it. So this is so great for babies developing eyesight. And of course, just for movement and texture. Another one of our newer baby books is this baby's very first Lift the Flap Peekaboo book. It's got some big flaps. I love when the flap is actually part of the page um, and not just like glued on because I think they're a little sturdier. They tend to hold up a little bit better with baby, but of course if baby's just in your lap, they may get a little excited, but normally they're not gonna um, hurt the book too bad. We do have a 50% replacement guarantee, so when you have flat books like this little Lift and Look Under the Sea flat book, if they do get ripped and you wanna replace it, we can do that for half of the cost. So that's a really good option. Honestly, I tape them back together because I know my kids are gonna keep um, playing with them for a long time. So maybe once, you know, we have loved on it a whole, whole lot and we need a replacement um, at that point, I'll get it. That's Not My Sloth is the newest That's Not My Book. And one of my kids actually just got a stuffed sloth. So this is gonna go great with that. These, that's not my books. If you haven't seen them yet, there's an adjective on every page that corresponds with the touchy feely. So it's a very good way to build their vocabulary. These thick black lines are good for their eyes. I love the rounded corners. I love how thick the pages are. These are excellent gifts for um, my infant likes them at six months old, all the way up to my four year old. She kind of dropped them around too. And then she just recently picked them up again. She's taking them off the shelf every couple of days and bringing me a big stack to read her. So they're still a lot of fun. Don't tickle the lion. You might make it roar is one of our newest sound books. There's the zebra. Kids are loving these. We just got a Don't Tickle the Hippo and it's gotten rave reviews. So I was excited to see another one, Don't Tickle the Lion. We got a really, really cool new book. It's a book of fasteners called I Can Do It. We have a button and a zipper, a Velcro closure, a snap, and we can tie the shoe. I think this is great practice for kids to use these different fasteners, but it's also good for their fine motor skills to get them moving their fingers and twisting and turning and pulling. Um, we, my six year old, I haven't taught her to tie her shoes yet. So I'm really excited to see that because we will start practicing now, but my six month old can also be doing some of those fasteners. Last but not least, the big book of nursery rhymes is brand new. I get any and all nursery rhyme books. I love nursery rhyme books. I have five kids, so I'm like, I need at least five nursery rhyme books so that they can each take one to start their own home library with for their family. Um, I love that this one is illustrated. And it has so many of the classic nursery rhymes. I was really happy to see it added to our catalog. All right, guys, that's it for our baby and toddler books. I hope you enjoyed them. I would love to know in the comments below which one you think your toddler would go bananas over. 